everyone, I'm King Power 44 and today in this Overwatch guide you will learn how to play Winston. Winston is a very nice flexible tank that can get into the thick of things and cause some trouble for flankers like Genji and Tracer. His health is a little low for a tank but using his movement abilities he can still take some hits. Alright, let's get started with his abilities. Winston's weapon only has one mode of fire and I will tell you if you are terrible at aiming this is the weapon for you. It also goes through shields and barriers and if the targets are close enough it can hit two targets at a time. Let's take a look at it. Okay so here we have Winston's Tesla cannon. You see it can hit two targets at a time and it does do a good amount of damage. Again this is not blockable by heroes like uh, Genji or D.Va. So you can just jump on them and, you know, pour out the lightning, giving them a lot of trouble. It does do a good amount of damage like we said before, but you want to make sure you're moving as well so that you don't take hits from the enemy. Because like we said, you do only have 500 health with, I think, like four bars of armor down there. So you can get killed pretty easily. But his weapon is very, very useful like we said before. You don't have to aim at all. You can see where my crosshair is and I'm still hitting that bot. So this is again useful against enemies that are hard to hit. Like Genji, Tracer, sometimes Reaper, Lucio. Because you don't have to aim. You can just hold the button down as they die. It's really, really cool. Alright, let's move on to his next ability. Once his next ability is his jump pack. So... Basically, his jump pack will send him flying through the air and then crashing to the earth with all of his weight, which will do some damage to enemies around him where, where he lands. And this skill gives Winston the ability to catch up to heroes like Tracer and Genji, as well as throw himself into the middle of a team fight to start doing damage and taking damage. Let's take a look at it. Okay, you can see here we're about to jump. So there's the jump pack and you saw when we landed up there he sort of pounded his fist and that will create a small shockwave doing damage to enemies. Here we go. You see it pushed them back a little bit and this is a great tool to get into the thick of battles if someone's trying to run away from you you can just jump over there and get right onto them and it makes you very very annoying for the other team. It's a great ability and it's something that uh, makes Winston different from the other tanks. He's not really there to sit there and soak up a ton of damage, but more he's moving around, uh, causing havoc for the enemy team. And that's why I consider him more of an off tank. So if you have a Winston on your team, you may want another tank to support him and help deal with a lot more of the damage load. Okay, let's talk about his next ability. Winston's next ability is his Barrier Projector. Now this ability allows Winston to drop a sphere shaped shield that protects everyone in it and is great for taking objectives. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so we can put the barrier down. You see it will block incoming shots, but we can fire out of it and so can your entire team. So if you put that barrier down everybody's inside of it, they're protected and they can still shoot out of it. However, I've got to stress this, if you put the barrier down, let's say we put the barrier down and an enemy enters it, you can come onto the outside and they cannot hit you. The barrier will still shield you. So enemies cannot fire through the barrier whether they're inside the barrier or outside of the barrier. That's something a lot of people don't know and it's very useful in case you put down the barrier let's say that bot is a bastion you can jump on him put down the barrier and get out and he while he's shooting you you can uh, do damage to him and he won't be able to damage you all right let's take a look at his last ability Winston's last ability is his ultimate primal rage and this will restore any missing health to Winston as well as give him a bigger health pool and shorten his jetpack cooldown to two seconds. You basically become indestructible or almost indestructible. You can die but it's gonna take a lot of damage to put you down and you throw your arms or Winston will throw his arms back and forth pushing enemies away from him and doing damage to them as well. So let's take a look at it right now. 
Okay, so here we're gonna take a look at Primal Rage. Here we go. So Winston will just push people around. You can see he can j jump around pretty often, pushing people pretty far, and it's very, very useful on uh, King of the Hill maps where you have uh, points to take, and especially places like Iluis where there's a lot of chance for you to knock people off. Winston is a great pick on those maps specifically because of his ultimate ability allowing him to just throw enemies off of the map and keep them off of the point as well. As you can see Winston is pretty simple to play and his abilities are really easy to understand they don't do anything super crazy and he's a good tank or a good off tank I would say. So let's talk about some tips that will help you gain the edge and help you become a better Winston player. So tip number one is it does take some time for your beam to charge. So if an enemy's at low health, you may want to punch them. And even if they're like around, you know, 25% health, you can punch and then throw your Tesla so that you can kill them even quicker because... If an enemy gets away from you or jumps back into their, gets back to their team, you don't want to chase them into their team, one, because you're not a super strong tank health-wise, and two, it's never a good idea to chase an enemy back to their team, no matter who you're playing, because 5v1 in Overwatch is almost, no, it's always a death for that one person. Okay, so the next tip we're going to talk about is a nice little combo where you use your jump pack to get into the thick of a situation. Drop your shield and then you can protect your team with your shield as well as jump around and do damage to the enemy team. Another tip is something we talked about before, but Tracer and Genji, you are their worst nightmare they can't escape your tesla cannon since it auto locks onto enemies you're aiming towards and if they try to run away from you you can just chase them down with your jump pack which only has a six second cooldown and you can get pretty far with it so if you see that your team is being uh just destroyed by an enemy genji or tracer maybe switching to winston would be a good idea the next tip we're going to be talking about is you can put your barrier down on the payload as it moves. So it will make sort of like a moving barrier that uh, protect your team as you guys come around bends and go through choke points with the payload. Well, that's it for Winston, guys. Go ahead and try him out for yourself. Again, if you find enemy Genjis or Tracers are constantly causing you to lose games, maybe learning Winston and mastering him is something that you really want to look toward. Guys, in the comments down below, let me know any other Winston tips you have and whether or not this guide helped you out. Again, like the video and subscribe if you guys haven't yet. We've got a ton more content coming out every single day. You guys can find me on Twitter at angel underscore the underscore twin and on Twitch dot tv slash king power 44 those links will be in the description down below all right guys have fun monkeying around out there in overwatch i'm king power 44 and i'm out of here peace